So where do I see 2050 India? Today, we have about a lakh and 50,000 deaths because of accidents on our roads. By 2050, I see this number reduced to maybe 10%, 20% of what it is today. About 1.6 lakh people in India die every year because of road accidents. 30% of those happen due to delayed ambulances. A lot of these accidents can be avoided if we are able to improve the availability of ambulances in emergency situations. Researchers in transportation engineering at IIT Madras are striving hard to solve this and other problems in transportation by deploying artificial intelligence. How do you locate ambulances more optimally? How do you route them more efficiently? And how do you reduce the response time for these ambulances so that you can save more lives? And uh, quite often what happens is the way calls uh, arrive for these ambulances, they're not uniformly spaced. They have certain patterns to them. Recognizing these patterns using machine learning and then based on these patterns, redeploying the ambulances so that dynamically you are evolving the location of these ambulances to reduce the response time at that instant. A lot of uh, infrastructure growth is happening in the country. When we talk about smart cities, we need to predict, for example, travel time, congestion, when it will happen, why is it happening. How do you improve the travel time or delay of a public transport? So what we are looking at is at signals, when all the vehicles are stopping, can we give priority to buses so that they will go? There are 50 people in this bus, there are two people in another car, so adding up using a kind of a smart algorithm, we are looking at the total person delay. And if it improves or the delay reduces, we allow the bus to go. So we predict accurately when the bus will reach the signal and accordingly we extend the green time or reduce the red time so that the bus can go. And the other thing is from the operator's point of view, how can the buses be run so that they are not branched or crowded together. Sometimes we see you know, two buses of the same route come very close to each other and then a long gap and no buses. So how can the real-time data be used? about GPS, about uh, you know ticketing machines and so on in order to better manage and control the bunching that we see in public transportation. So mobility is something that impacts everybody and mobility is some field where multiple stakeholders participate. You have industry, you have the government, you have the public, you have academia, all of them have a role to play in this mobility industry. So uh, we have started something called the Mobility and Intelligent Transportation Collaborator here at IIT Madras. To make the mobility dreams for a billion come alive, you need to be able to integrate urban planning and transportation planning. And to do that, data size becomes very important. What is the traffic flow? How do people actually use the different modes of transport? What do they want to do in terms of accessing services so on and so forth. Data science becomes the heart of it because we need to know who wants to move what and from where to where. So that's where Mint comes in because we look at it from a digital public infrastructure, you know, from a, from a technical research perspective, but more imp importantly, working on very practical and real problems get, that can actually affect the mobility dreams for a billion. So we're going to have multiple centers within IIT Madras who are going to be part of this collaborator. And the collaborator itself will be under the School of Data Science and AI that's been recently inaugurated. One of the goals of this collaborator is to reduce accidents by 50%, is to reduce emissions from transportation by 50%, is to encourage the use of net zero transportation modes by 50% by 2050. And this will be possible through a lot of technology, AI, that's going to get into our vehicles, that's going to constantly alert us about potential dangerous situations so that we can be more aware and prevent accidents rather than you know, address them after they happen.